So you guys aren't gonna see this video until like way in the future, but basically I wanted to make an announcement that I'm actually gonna be interning in London this summer, so I'm really excited. Um, I'm basically doing the same program that I did like to go to Japan. going to be interning in London this summer. Basically doing the same program that I did to go to Japan. I just wanted to like document this again as well just because it's going to be another cool experience. I'm in Vancouver now. I am so tired. It's like 5 a.m. I have like a 15 hour layover. I slept from like 12 until now-ish. Yeah. They made me pick up my bags since I had such a long layover but they wouldn't let me like check them back in. It was too late and the check-in places were closed. I woke up at 5 because I thought that was when they would reopen but they actually opened at 5.30. Sleeping in the airport was like really uncomfortable mainly because I'm like on the part that's like before TSA right now and then I have all my like luggage. I couldn't like sleep without feeling like I had to be on high alert and I also had an interview <laughs> I also realized that I don't have like calling while I'm international so I emailed the company like midnight asking if I can do a Skype call instead so hopefully they respond and say that it's fine I didn't realize that I wouldn't be able to check in my bag until three hours before my flight so I woke up at 5 a.m. for nothing basically. It's like 8.30 right now and I'm just studying for my interview at 11. It's a really nice day though. If I didn't have this interview, I guess I could have explored Vancouver a bit, but that's okay. I just want to check in my bags so I can sleep. <laughs> Look who came to pick me up at the airport! <laughs> She's not even coming to London. <laughs> she just lives yeah, here. I just live here. <laughs> Tina showed me this this place. Her and her mom took me to the mall because of my 15 hour layover. She slept at the airport. <laughs> if you're curious, what a $20 bill looks like. Whoa. It's like not paper, it's plastic. It's hard to rip. It's hard to rip. And it's waterproof. And That's it's magical. Copy. You can't copy this. Mm -hmm. On the hundred dollar bill, if you scratch the maple leaf, it smells like maple syrup. That's amazing. <laughs> wow, this is so pretty. I just made it to the airbnb and i'm so glad that was such a struggle oh my god i just couldn't figure out how to use the public transportation so i paid for an uber and it was like 23 pounds which is gonna be kind of expensive in dollars but i'm so glad to be here now this airbnb is so cute and so clean and oh my god my airbnb hosts are so so sweet and I'm so grateful for them. I was supposed to check in at 5 but they let me check in at 12 basically which is now. They're just so nice about it like I don't even know. I thought all public transportation was supposed to take Oyster card. Maybe I'm just I, I didn't realize that not all of them do so I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> it was kind of embarrassing. So then I tried calling a taxi but I've never called a taxi before and Basically, the one I was trying to call wasn't the right one, and they were saying like, oh, you need to call a local taxi. And I was like, I don't know how to do that. I don't even know how to, I don't even, uh, yeah. After like 30 minutes of trying to figure it out, I just called an Uber because I was in a time crunch because I needed to get to my Airbnb before my host's dad had to go out to do something and I didn't want to be like too much of a bother to them because they were already giving me a huge break by letting me come in early so I can drop off my luggage so I can go explore. For the rest of the day instead of having to haul my luggage around so at least i got my oyster card which took a long time to figure out how to do <laughs> i feel so 
gross i basically haven't showered in like two days three i don't even know i lost track of time because i had such a long layover i thought it was gonna be like 13 hours but it was actually 18 hours i think i might have washed out a lot of my dye i use hot water it's cold and i was tired and i had a rough day shout out to tina for helping me buy this she said this is like the most canadian thing ever so i'm gonna eat this now it's gonna rain again soon so i'm just gonna take a walk around the neighborhood basically and see what it's like i think my goal for today is gonna be to figure out how to use the bus systems and like the other public transportation here with my um, oyster card i'm not sure which ones take it and which ones don't so I'm gonna try to see if I can use the local ones here, but I think once I get into central London, it'll be fine because I think most of the public transportation there will take my Oyster card. This is supposed to represent this the timeline of this park. So far I haven't really been able to find anything like city-like, so... I also realized I can't really take any of the buses here with my Oyster car because I'm too far from like central London. I think this place is mostly residential areas. I haven't even seen that many restaurants but I could be looking in the wrong area. Yeah, it's really peaceful here but it's starting to rain now so I guess I'm gonna go back to my Airbnb. I feel a little more anxious here though than when I went to Japan. I feel like harder to navigate here for some reason and I feel like I'm more embarrassed because I should be able to ask people because they can speak English but I feel like people look at me like why don't you know how to do this I accidentally fell asleep I'm awake and the sun apparently sets at 9 12 p.m. here I'm gonna quickly go get food at a pub nearby okay so I got my food I felt so bad because I didn't realize that they didn't usually do takeout but they didn't tell me until after uh, they had already packaged it away for me and take out. So I felt so bad because I could have totally just eaten it there. <laughs> but it's getting a little dark now, so I'm trying to hurry up a bit. But I guess I looked very lost when I walked in. And there was like a few ladies that approached me and they were like, are you okay? And everybody that asked me, asked me if I was okay. I just think that's so sweet of them. Like, they could obviously tell I was a foreigner. And so they kind of just helped me a bit, helped me figure out how to order because I wasn't sure if you just go up to the bar and order. And so apparently one of the girls that I met was the manager and so I ended up having a chat with her and it was like really nice. It was like a very friendly community. I think I'll come back tomorrow. Definitely recommend if you're in Crawley. So my plan for today is go to Brighton and I was going to walk to the station, the train station, but... Boring. So I guess I'm gonna have to leave a little bit. So it's not raining anymore. I'm gonna head off and walk to the train station. This is a good opportunity for me to figure out how to use public transportation before I have to go to my apartment in central London and get lost tomorrow.
so I just woke up and it's time to check out of my Airbnb and venture to central central London so I can check in to my apartment for the rest of the summer. My throat is kind of sore. Maybe I need some tea. I am so confused. After taking like, I think like six different forms of transportation, we're finally here. This is my room and my roommate for the summer. It's Ma! Hey! hey. <laughs> And then this is our room. This is our closets, my bed. <laughs> and we even have our own bathroom, which I, where is the light? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> How did you even do that? It's on the outside. Oh, wait, that means you can turn off the light on somebody when they're yeah, in the bathroom. Sure, which is kind of sucky. <laughs> we kind of live in like a suite, and then there's also other apartment mates in this suite. We have like a communal kitchen. So the washing machine is here, I guess, for clothes. We also have a dishwasher. I don't use the dishwasher, but pretty nice. And then we also have like a little living room area. Just kind of cute. This is definitely a lot bigger than Japan's. Then there's some closets and another bathroom. This little room for clothes, I guess. What is salad cream? <laughs> We're cooking pasta tonight for dinner. And we also went grocery shopping. I can't get over that this box of 80 tea bags is two pounds. <laughs> and also groceries are just so much cheaper. Like literally. <laughs> wow. Wow. Vlogging. <laughs> wow. <laughs> literally like Claritin is two boxes for six pounds when one box would be like thirty dollars and like ibuprofen is less than a dollar wild good morning guys today we're going to the orientation for our program we'll be going to the university where we'll be taking our classes for the first time i still have a sore throat the pollen count here is super high so it makes me sneeze a lot so it's making me lose my voice and making me have a sore throat and headaches so it's like not fun I am excited to like look around and explore around the area, but definitely not excited to take classes. Last summer for Japan, it was like five hours of classes, and this time it's two days a week with four hours of classes. It's not fun. They have a poison duck salad wrap. Cold. <laughs> We're on our lunch break that they're like not providing for, but that's fine. Flatmates. <laughs> they packed this away in a box to go so nicely. Like, I'm just so impressed. <laughs> It's only three pounds. Yeah. Oh my god, wait, I could actually put groceries in here. I'm getting it. <laughs> <laughs> this is such an adorable sweater. Oh my god, look at these crop tops. They're only six fifty. I'm so shooketh. I'm so shooketh. Yeah, this clothing store is huge. And it's like Going into a store with nice clothes, but going straight to the clearance section. <laughs> but the whole store is a clearance section. Have you ever been to a Century 21? No. They're kind of like this. Like they give you the bag at the door, and that's when you know. You're like, oh, I'm not leaving for a while. <laughs> we found my section. Except it's called the reduction section here, and not the clearance section. I don't know what that beeping is. Okay, let me show you guys what I got from Primark or Primark. I got these Harry Potter sandals because they were only two pounds. I got this water bottle 
for five pounds. Usually it's really hard for me to find like a reusable water bottle, so I just reuse the ones that aren't supposed to be reusable. Some water bottles make the water taste kind of funky, but I figured this might be okay. I also got this jumpsuit thing for only six pounds and then these shorts for four pounds. I'm loving that store. I'm definitely gonna go back. 